Hi, welcome to Camp Sanguinity Under the Stars. Hope you're having a fantastic summer. We're gonna show you a magic trick. So to do this magic trick, you first start out with four cards with four columns and you ask your assistant to choose a card. So I will have her do that. She'll choose a card, she'll probably slide it out and show it to y'all, but I'm gonna turn this way. Okay. All right, so now that we've chosen a card, the magician will say, where is your card? Is it in column one, two, three, or four? Column four. Okay. All right, is it on column one, two, three, or four? Column one. All right, now choose two of those piles. One, two. Okay, set those off to the side. And make a fist, hold it out here where everyone can see. Hold on tight. I'm gonna show you how to do that trick. So to do that trick, there's actually two parts to the trick. First, you need to find their card, and then there's really the magic reveal. As I said, you lay the cards out in a stack of four by four, and then you have them tell you which row it's in. The easiest way for me is to pick up the row that they say, but really you can pick them up in any order. Now remember, she said the fourth row had the jack of spades, and since I picked the fourth row up first, her row showed up here on top. So when she now says jack of spades in row one, you wanna pick up the row that they said. So this makes sure that her card is within the top four cards. Now when you lay them down into stacks, and I do stacks of five, five stacks. It's whatever row she said the first time based on how you picked it up. So I picked it up as the first row of cards, so it was therefore the first one that I put down. It didn't matter. So the secret to this trick is, after you ask them to choose two piles, if they choose the pile with the card, you will take that and make it the bottom of the stack you're about to make. If they choose piles without the cards, you slide those away and still make a stack with your card on bottom. Having your card on bottom is really important. And I'll show you in just a second. So the trick to this is when you put it into their hand and have them make a fist and hold it really tight, when you slap the cards, the card that's gonna stay is the one that's on bottom because that's where they have the grip. So when we do this, she's got the jack of spades. You just put one corner in and you smack it and the card remaining, oh, sometimes you gotta smack it a few times to get all the cards out of there. The card remaining is the card that was on bottom. So that's the secret to it. Let me show you one more time in slow-mo.
there you go. That's how you do that trick. There's a lot of different ways you can set it up as long as you can find one card and get it onto the bottom. The reveal is really getting it into the individual's hand and slapping it out um, makes for a great magic trick. So hope you enjoy, have fun with that.